Hey folks, it's Ardwolf. Welcome back. This is episode 11 of our playthrough of uh, Stellaris from pa uh, Paradox. And we're going to uh, keep up, pick up where we left off here. Sorry, a little flaky. Just ate too much. Um, so what do we got going on here? Placid Leviathans, gas grazers. They're actually harmless though. So I don't really care. Debris analyzed. This is a tundra world. We have some debris analyzed. We have a science ship available. Uh, we have Ovani. Oh, we have some stuff that we can take a look at. Where is that? That's up here. Move them there to research that project. We get somebody working on that. Can't really do that. We, there's nothing we can do about this at all. Observation posts. Well, that'd be awesome, but I can't, because there's nothing I can observe within my borders. <clears throat> that may change when I get uh, planet I, when I get Hixar colonized. And we got ten months to go on that, which will go a lot faster if I uh, unpause it. So there's that. This thing's taking friggin' forever. Construction complete. All right, so we have the Second Republic Task Force now. Gonna keep them right where they're at. We're gonna call this the Mississippi. I'm gonna call this the Rhine. Call this the Nile. And we'll call this the Volga. Special project complete. We were successful in our attempt to record the collision between Kefoth and its moon. The event was captured from several different angles and transmitted live throughout our space. Most importantly, our scientists under the leadership of Edith Carroll were able to record a large amount of available physics data that will surely benefit our research. So that's cool. Eh, not that much. She gets a bunch of XP, but I'm not sure she's not maxed out already. Alright, so... First Republic Task Force. Um... Are they in repair right now? No, they're actually still in transit. That's, that's okay. So let's go to our friends, the Deary Directorate. Relative power of empires is only two now, so that says to me that they got a bunch of forces. Since I just built a large new fleet that more than doubled my yeah, we're, we don't care about that. Let's uh, go to my starport. Start a colony ship. Since in a few months we'll be able to launch a new colony. So let's take a quick look here at these systems. I don't think any of them... Ah, nope, I'm wrong. Xora 1A. How big is it? It looks pretty small. Its positioning, however, is friggin' optimal. And what do we got here?
So I think what we do is we queue up a second colony ship. So we got, where's that at? Kev off. Let's move that here. Move this science ship. It's a pretty good system. Unpause. Good idea to unpause if I actually want stuff to happen. It's a great idea. So we're gonna we're gonna send the first one to Kasora, and then the second one to Hixar, and that's gonna put us in a bind on energy. But right now, that's not a problem since we're at the cap anyway. Thrum 2 is an ocean world, and we have a tropical world here. Uh, we're going to do three. So we're going to do Hithram, Hixar, and Kasora. And stop pausing it, goddammit. Oh, we actually need to wait to build another colony ship because we're out of minerals. We don't have to wait too long, though. Jean-Francois Leclerc has been elected. Our consul's reign has come to an end. We have a pretty good history of uh, not re-electing these guys. Orbital research mandate. They keep promising this orbital research will happen, and it doesn't because we there there aren't any. Uh, cloud lightning conduits, 20% progress for regenerative hull tissue physics research society research. So that was totally worthwhile, huh? All right, so let's go down here. Where is that at? And let's see. Go to Hicklam. Can't do desert worlds yet. No, we need we haven't even finished survey in that place. Research complete. To colonization, we have Rhea. All right, let's take it. Let's let's think about this. Unlocks colonization ocean world. I feel obligated to take this, but even though I'd like this production. Do what's this? Adjacency effect, planetary capital. I really like this too. I, I'm only aware of a couple ocean worlds, and we have a we have an expansion plan now. We've got three target uh, planets that we can go for as soon as we have uh, the colony ships built. The first one's about halfway done. I guess I could have built one for, at Selnok or Sirius instead of doing it at Terra. In fact, let's, we should probably take a look at Selnok. Take a look at Osiris. Look at the planet summary. It is, a, it, it is at 5. So what's this? Basic mine. This building requires a grown population to function. 
Oh, and we can't do that. Oh, somebody just died. Oh, well. So I guess we better take a look at our science ships and see who just lost one. Is there anyone available? Surveying, leading society. We're going to have to recruit one. Research speed, research speed computing, survey speed. Well, we'll put her in charge. Well, let's see, we had something down here that we haven't fully explored yet. This is where the frontier is at, so... System survey complete. All right, where is this ship? Look at the minerals here, man. And it's all barren worlds, too. There's nothing I can get within range of that. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, and they're the, these are the mining drones, too. These are a big pain. So let's take our First Republic Task Force down here. And we have a colony ship. So we're going to take that colony ship. Where am I going? We're going to Sora. Wait a minute. Didn't we just get this Arctic colonization? that's where the food is. Next ship's on its way out. We're going to add it to this sector. Anomaly found. Ooh, here's a huge Arctic world, actually. of glacier, mountain range, cleared. Missing technologies, mountain range removal. That's some fairly serious action right there. We'll just take this mountain range and level it. No big deal.
What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Terra. Alright, revealed to be a barren planet. That's not that interesting, but okay. Alright, so Galileo is down here. We got Atanzi Polity has joined the Just League. So the Just League's now got three in it. We can only have three embassies active at any time. Uh, let's see. Friends, the Myron League have only got three planets. And it looks good. System survey complete. The science ship, the Oracle. We'll go, you know what, we might as well go here first, huh? Anything interesting here? Tunabo is an Arctic world. Tunobo. Alright, that's another one we can we can shoot for. So, in fact, I'm going to go to Terra. Well, two more colony ships. This is going to be a fairly major border expanse in the span of a couple of years. We're going to have four additional planets. So this guy is still making its way to that planet, I believe. Yes, slowly. Let's look at the spaceship designer. And look at the colony ship. What do we got here, man? Chemical Fisher's warp drive. I don't know how to really... I guess you picked the core, then. Colony ship. We really don't have... Uh, there's no weapons or anything. You could put some deflectors on these, but I'm not sure I see the point. I would want these ships to be built as fast and as cheaply as possible, to be honest. They, they already take a long time. And look at that. That is actually colonizing now. Uh, hostile fleet. Where? Uh, okay. This is planned. Alright, we have a science ship free. Where is it at? It's up here. We'll go here. Uh, next planet we're going to is going to be Hithram 2A. Right? This is a ocean world. The surface of Dimius II has revealed that certain regions of the planet are home to a primitive alien proto-civilization. Our probes show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. Alright, so Hithram II 
Oh, that's the moon, actually. There's a colony ship. Uh, let's look at the surface here. It's a jungle world? Yeah, it's a tropical world. Where are we gonna go? I think we have to go here. Hostile fleet engaged. Let's go look at that. We should be good here. <coughs> this shirt shit this fleet is in good repair. They're doing some damage though. I'm actually okay with losing some of these old ships, actually. Since I can't figure out how to refit them, I figure fuck it, I'll get them lost in combat against these NPCs. I totally Situation totally can work with that. Updated. Hostile engaged. And we got this to deal with. System survey complete. Advanced spaceport's coming. Spaceport level 4, destroyer assembly yards. Those are coming. I think I'm going to wait to build more destroyers. Situation log updated. We're losing energy credits each month, but I don't care. And we're working on that. I'll look at Alpha Centauri again. I haven't looked at this in ages. Oh, look at this. This is a continental world. Has this been sitting here the entire time? It totally has. Back to Saul Starport. <coughs> so I'm sending the next one to Hixar. We could help Centauri last. I'm not sure how I missed that, but now see, you see now how these potentially habitable planets are are like highlighted on the map. They don't seem to always be, and I don't know if it's something I'm hitting or what. Uh, but it sure would be useful if this was on all the time. So here we have a continental world. Huh. We could drop something in Latheros too. Anything worthwhile here? Well, yes and no. We can certainly get a construction ship. A couple construction ships going here. So we have actually a lot, a lot of planets. All 
Alright, so we're satisfied with that. This is specifically the track I'm thinking of when I think of uh, that there's a, there's a definite Blade Runner influence to the soundtrack to this game. And that's a cool thing. You can definitely get a couple uh, construction ships down here. You get some stuff built there as well. System survey complete. Anomaly found. I'm actually considering um, scrapping one of my older construction ships. Science ships, I mean. Research complete. There's my destroyer assembly yards. Don't have the minerals to do it right now, but that's okay. Engineering facility, nano composite armor, ion thruster. Boy, ion thruster sounds super uh, useful, don't they? And I need a scientist for this, which means I need another scientist. You know what? Let's let's do this. I take this science ship. It's going to take this longer to uh, get stuff done, but I don't care. Oh, do I have to have? No, I do. Well, screw you. We're going to scrap the ship. Alright, and we have a... Uh, Construction complete. A massive crater on Dimrius 5 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of a crater, we suspect that a ship traveling at full warp rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The RSS Oracle has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site reminiscent of a collapsed war field, but as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. So we get some physics research out of that. Send it up to dearth, actually. All right, they've reached that. Debris analyzed. Where's Planetary Administration? Do we have five? We do have the five. So let's do this and upgrade this. We need 350. Shit. Mining drone lasers, nanocomposite materials, uh, physics research, engineering research, so that's go all good.
right, we'll actually move this here instead. days on this. I'll drop that there. I like that name. It's a cool name. Hostile fleet. Where? This is Oracle, Crystalline Entity, and Myram. I guess that's fine. Class B star, that's interesting. And I lost whatever intel I had on it. Debris analyzed. Upgrade to planetary administration here. And then we can upgrade a bunch of other stuff. station here. And then we'll take this guy, build a mining station here. That's all looking good. Gorim has something un, uh, unexploited. We know about this system. Not a lot. Baron, Baron, Baron. But this might expand a little bit, so as Winter, I believe its name is, expands. Uh, we have a colony ship which is making its way to Hixar. Lockney. So that's 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 doing its work. Yeah, see now those icons are not on there anymore. Oh look if I have a colony ship selected though, they come back. What do we got here? We have a very small continental moon, looks like. We might nevertheless get down there. Right now that's kind of far away, and I'm reluctant to uh to deal with it. But Kaldax has something that's potentially habitable. A desert world. We don't have desert colonization yet. So we can't really do anything about that. Uh, is it there? It's there. Well, it's close. Let's unpause so it'll actually get there.
I'm going to just discard that because I don't care. This is an Arctic world. So we could go down there. This is another Arctic world and Hick Bomb. It's a pretty shitty Arctic world, though. This, on the other hand, is real promising looking. Three tro two tropical worlds and an ocean world. Let's look at this system, actually. Decent sized. Eh. They're not big. Ocean and tundra worlds. Let's look and see what we got going on here. Six months on the ion thrusters. We got one more colony, one more colony ship coming, two more colony ships coming. How is Cyrus's upgrade going? It's getting there. We got our construction ships in play. Got a little bit of something we can get involved there. Hexar is now colonized. But it's going to be a resource drain for uh, several months Colony yet. Colony established. Established the Colony Lockney. Uh, Jotunheim. That is a great name for that planet. Lockney is fully established. This is... Ready to exploit as soon as we have a construction ship available. We do have a, a science ship available down here. Survey that. Fleet order finished. Fleet order finished. Construction. Let's go to Tazarid, build a mining station here. Now let's take the other construction ship and go to Kasora and build a mining station here. ready for another one. This is an arctic world. This is a desert world. Let's look at this arctic world. I think it's fairly shitty. Oh no, it isn't. We'll totally Research colonize complete. this. And I think we have to place ourselves here because of the food. Research is complete on the ion thrusters. What can we get now? Rail guns! The latest in electromagnetic accelerators. We're gonna totally... I think we're totally gonna take that. Hold on a second. Mining Network 2. Plasma thrusters. Ah, there's all three of these I want. I'm gonna go with Mining Network 2. Alright, so we are... Greatly expanding our borders here. Let's look at Hithram, Lockney. Uh, we're going to rename Lockney to, I think, Livingston. And I think we'll probably put uh, a bunch of this uh, in a sector as well, but we're going to wait on that. And this is going to go to Ten Tunk Tenobo. I think. I 
Yeah, that's a desert world. We can't get that yet. Is it in our borders? It's probably going to be, and I'm definitely going to put a station there when we do. All right, so I think we've gotten far enough here. Hostile fleet's present. Negative balance, but we don't care. I think we've gone far enough here. We're, we're doing a lot of expansion very quickly here. Um, so we're going to take some time to consolidate all this, I think. And then uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll keep playing. So I am enjoying... Um, Stellaris quite a bit so far. I hope that you're enjoying watching it. Uh, please like the video if you're enjoying the videos. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want some more of this. There will be more on the way. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.